is Ahmed, and I am here today to tell you about Open Life Science, a program to help early career researchers to become open science leaders and ambassadors. I would like to start by putting up a disclaimer that this is my second OLS program to participate. I was a student of second round of OLS, and what you see in here is the last slide from my first participation in the program. This was my take home message. My first round of OLS did not only guide me through the original project idea, but also built confidence and allowed me to embed open science in all aspects of my work. Also had an impact on my lifestyle too. It even changed the way I used to greet, pe greet people. And this amazing Galaxy platform and community was introduced to me through mentor mentee meeting, where we invited an expert and my simple CLI tool evolved into something much bigger to a Galaxy workflow, which people can use it without any prior knowledge of coding, without worrying about their computational resources or operating systems. And that made me an advocate of the Galaxy platform. The short story of our CLI tool become a, becoming a Galaxy workflow is also shared on the Galaxy blog to inspire others. And since now I am a big fan of Galaxy, I participated in the Galaxy admin training. I convinced my PI to dedicate some, some parts of the HPC server at the Institute so I can deploy Galaxy. So you must be asking why I am, I am back to OLS. Well, OLS inspired me and made me realize that there is so much goodness in the program, but I think that is not reaching out to as many, as many people as I wish. Many more, many more could benefit from this. I felt there were many valuable things in here that is worthy of being shared to the community at, la at large. So I ended up proposing a project where we come together with the help of our blood, all as experts and mentors to pen something towards this. And here I am going to present about what I have achieved so far. So I joined my second OLS on a different mission, write an article which could be a great stepping stone for future OLS and to the broader life science community. Well, I failed at this. I am a newbie. I have never published a paper. So imagine the work needed on my drafts. Maybe it was not a realistic goal to publish a paper in 16 weeks program, but the mentors always meant, made sure that we get out of the program with something. They were always kind and supportive, which is really invaluable for people who are based in a low resource environment. Even only this kindness and support uh, means a lot to us, to people who are located in a low resource country, as it is really hard to find somebody who has the skills and expertise to support, support us in these regions. Because sharing information and transparency is not applied in here, especially in academia. While in OLS, they shared every single information they have. Literally, I got more support than I could get, get in my own country. I have learned and achieved things that nobody in here will te teach me or guide me through. One of the other biggest challenges in here is affordability of traditional methods of the data collection, which makes open research really valuable for us. However, Many of us do not even know about open research, yet alone applying it or making use of it. This was the another reason for me to put an effort to make OLS to reach out as many people as possible. Although I could not achieve what I proposed at the beginning, we still got some achievements. Through OLS, now I implement open science in my work and my workflow we created on the Galaxy. It is constantly being used by the researcher, researchers at my institute. In fact, one of the team got a poster presentation on this at this conference. I received Galaxy admin training to set up our own server at the institute. Now we are working towards enhancing representation of researchers from Asia Pacific Network and the International, International Open Science Network, AP Bionet, We'll, uh, we'll soon join the OLS to support them and OLS will give a workshop in AP Bionet. And also AP Bionet is, is going to take an action to collaborate with OBF. We promoted OLS to expand the reach of open science training in my institute and by sharing personal impact story at GCC and ISMB. Now I have an opportunity shot shut out in the biggest players of the field to talk to people and attract people. OLS did not only impact 
on my research skills and my life, but also my environment, people around me. And I was just one of the mentees. They hosted 146 mentees so far and guided 98 projects only in three rounds. At the moment, they are receiving applications and recruiting mentors and experts. So I would like to encourage people in here to participate in this program, either as a mentee, mentor, or expert, or cohort call wranglers for people who are interested in gaining experience or, or, or organizations and teams who would like to collaborate with OLS. Last but not least, I would like to ex express my grateful appreciation to OLS organizers, my mentor from my first uh, OLS, uh, Mallory Freeberg, my professor at the Institute, Hilia, Dr. Gitanjali, and Har uh, Harpreet from uh, AP Boynet. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.